Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover Fiery Hot Folders. Hot folders are really about assigning all the settings we need to a folder. And it's really a simple and automated way for users to submit jobs. What's nice about Hot Folders is it accepts native application files. So in this case, I do not have to have the application installed and selected. I'd like to do a file print, so it's giving me some more flexibility there. What's nice about the hot folder is you convert that native file to PostScript or PDF based on how you've defined your hot folder. It also could be a shareable folder. Even though I might have a hot folder set up on my system, I could share that folder with other users or perhaps you might even want to have the Hot Folders application installed on a server and then shared out for additional users. And again, the key is that there's no print driver. And users really have a lot of ways to submit jobs. They just simply have to drop their job into the Hot Folder where the Fiery identified, and all the job property settings would be applied. So flexible job submission. Really, there are multiple ways that a user can place a job into that Hot Folder, because we know Different users have different means that they like. And in the screenshot here, we're just seeing that I'm selecting a job, right-clicking, and selecting Download to Hot Folder. But again, a user could drag and drop a job into the Hot Folder if that's their preferred method. Another advantage that you have with Hot Folders is not only can you add just a single file, but you can actually take a folder of files. And that folder could contain PDF files, for example, or JPEG files. And that's a feature that really might be helpful. Uh, maybe you have a um, multiple content creators that are all creating files that in the end you need to combine into one document before you print it as a booklet, for example. Hot folders would let you take a folder of PDF files and drop it right into the hot folder where they're all merged at the Fiery for your output. Again, it is multiple file format, so it's giving you some added flexibility. And even in the case of Microsoft Office, for example, if you ha have a lot of um, Microsoft Office Word documents or PowerPoint or Excel, and you need to send them to the printer, Hot Folders would accept those files for submission. And I would like to mention that it does require an optional package if you'd like to process those Microsoft Office files. So there are some additional packages. And I'm referring to the Graphic Arts Package Premium Edition or the Productivity Package. And adding those options will increase the number of file formats that your Hot Folders can accept. So I actually have hot folders installed on my Windows client. And when I open the hot folder console panel, here I see all my created hot folders. Well, let's go ahead and make a new one. And we'll give it a name, in this case, .fgs booklet. Description, again, I could enter. Server name is where I'm identifying the Fiery that I'd like to send my file to. Again, in the job actions, here's where I have the ability to select proof print if needed. I think for this particular customer file, they often have me reprint jobs. So I'm going to select Print and Hold. Now I can assign the job properties. Here we see a list of all the server presets available. But if I go up to Define, I'd like to show you that this will open the job prop I needed, go into Layout, select Impose. And here's where I could apply that Impose template if it had not been saved as part of a preset. But I'm going to go back and select that preset that we created earlier for the booklets. There we go. And also, I can see here the default input format. The edit would allow me to make some changes for that. Again, I'm going to add a pre-flight because I do not want the job to print if there is an error. So if there's a critical error, I'll have it hold the job. The hot folder, I'll see it appear. And really, we're ready to start submitting jobs. So one method is if I choose to download files, I can browse onto my desktop. And let's find a file. Let's go with the catalog complete. I can select my file or files and submit. Also, I can browse to a file on my desktop or anywhere. I can right click. And here's where I have the choice to download the hot folder. And here I see the list of the available hot folders. Also, I can drag a file onto the hot folder that I'd like to submit. And I'll copy that one here. So those are three ways. Also earlier, I mentioned that you can take a folder of files that you'd like to submit. And I actually have a folder containing five separate PDFs that I'm placing into a hot folder that I've asked to merge my PDF files. And as I come back into Command Workstation, we can see some of the files that we submitted to the hot folder. But this top one here, here's my combined PDF files. 
And as we scroll through, we can see the five pages that were in there. So again, Hot Folders is a great way to allow you to submit files without needing to have a print driver installed. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.